just finish this stupid case. I'm so sick of it. Ugh. This case is still going on, despite us having gone completely off the rails. It's pretty shocking, isn't it? It definitely is, and I think he was always the most straightforward of the group. Gee, best of my bad hated yes. I could try to pin the murder on you on purpose. He, he did? A little old nobody that nobody likes. But you're not, which is kind of the reason why. You're gonna ignore me after I went through all this trouble to bring some evidence? Ah, uh, Detective Gumshoe. Ugh, oh, forget it, I'm going home. This guy deserves to be guilty anyway. I mean, she's, uh, he's right, he's 100% correct. Uh, we got some really tasty milk. I'm about to decode a trick, Detective. Oh, well, if you insist. Haven't you mentioned, what is it? Here you go. Oh, look, it's the thing that Francisco got. Is it really gonna be the key to the case? I'm gonna go with probably not, but okay, we'll go with it. Won't miss for Carmi, man. No, I mean, she will, but who, who cares? It's always a secret. Ooh, Gumshoe's going behind the back of Mon Karma. Ooh. Everything's happening in court, but all that was going according to our plan. I don't know. Miss Mon Karma didn't seem to control things in there just now. You'll figure it out eventually, pal. Yesterday, our final plan was set into motion. Final plans? Uh huh. That reminds me. We got a message from the prosecutor for you. Nothing is truly ever truly decided until the very end. That's it. And that's it for me too, pal. I'm out of here. Um. Are you insinuating that you and Francisca planned this? Because I'm gonna go with absolutely not. Oh, one more thing. It looks like there's a large care package in the circus and the defendant. What for me? It's milk! The reception area looks like some kind of dairy, so hurry up and drink it before it spoils. Oh my god. Did the notice that I, I barely care when I'm giving these lines? Like, usually I put a lot of passion into the voices because I really have a lot of fun with this game. But this case has just killed any enthusiasm I have for this. I just... I just don't even... I, I just want to get this stupid case over with. Like, I, I'm actually miserable with this. Like, this is genuinely one of the worst sections of a video game I've ever played. I'd like to continue with Akko's testimony, starting with the voice of the victim. Proof from- yeah, I'm not, I'm not- you know what, I'm not even doing voices. Proof what kind of motive I would have to commit the crime. Now, Dingling, yes, see, great, testify. Just testify, just get it over with. Okay, about the ringmaster. When I lived with my parents, true. Took you in, true. Came back around nine years old, true. I want to find a repayment until your purpose in life. Yep, you have nothing better to do with your time, so I'm gonna go with a hard yes on that one. Oh great, a whole testimony. Great, there's nothing we can. There's actually nothing that we can press. Oh great. Okay. How can anyone think that? No real. The. There's no need. You know, there's no need to question him because there's nothing. There's nothing in there. Like, she, he wasn't trying to murder Russell Berry. He was trying to murder Regina Berry. There's no need to double in the business when I know the answer already. Okay, you're not that dense. Mr. Roy, I'd like to have a question. Go ahead. Who? Of course I can. Of course I can provide one. I've come as far as no way. Oh, this is gonna be good. Very well. And please light in the court. Let's just know that. Wait, no, I wasn't reading! Oh, great. You know, I'll just present the attorney's badge because I wasn't. Oh, God, I wasn't paying attention. I care so little about this case, I didn't even read correctly. I thought, I thought he was saying, can you explain why he murdered the ringmaster? Great. Okay, give up presenting things. That's so dumb, my god. I mean, to be fair, that one was my bad. I didn't read it properly. And, yeah, exactly. Correct. He didn't want to ring, run the ring. He wanted to, I figured this out yesterday. I figured this out in the investigation. Way before you fools got even a, a lick of the, that information. End of things. Acro, then plenty of women. Yeah, no, it wasn't your target. Did you say target? Not the ringmaster, but Regina Berry. And the only proof I need of that is the note. Like, I, I don't understand. It's just. There's so many things about this that just break everything. He tried to kill Regina. Yes, ringmaster's daughter. We really aimed for her that night. I don't need to answer that. Means for the oh, shut the hell up. You can easily answer the question. You're on the wrong list. You're wrong. That's it. That's it. I'm Mr. Phoenix. Right. I'm so look. I'm sorry if the, um, I'm. I really am sorry if this isn't as entertaining for you to watch. But I just have no passion for this. This 
this case has completely destroyed any enthusiasm I had for this. You want evidence? You want to see, you want to see proof that Akron was out to kill this young girl? Again, all I need to show you is the note. Just go to the note. There you go. It's all you need to see, because it's all I need to prove my case. Akro, you remember this, don't you? It's a piece of paper we found into the murder cell coat. To the murderer, 10 p.m. And let me guess, now we have to prove that you were that you were tied to the thing that happened six months ago. Akro did indeed place his note in his pocket. However, that someone was not the ringmaster. It was, it was, none of them Regina Barry. Yeah, we figured this all out yesterday. None of this is news. Absolutely none of this is new information. So if Regina didn't think that wasn't for her. Just saw the note. Correct. Ended up in Plaza instead of Regina. And it's killed because of that mistake instead of Regina. Remember the testimony again? Okay, so I think this is treated as some big reveal, but I already figured this out yesterday. This isn't rocket science. See, that's the thing. Most of the stuff about this case has been really, really easy to figure out, except for that one stupid thing with the cloak that's just bullsh** beyond belief. Hey, Nick. She is unfortunately looking at harsh. Yeah, I don't care. I stopped caring about everybody in this case except for the clown. Foolishly full, 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 full time, full, fools to infinity and beyond. Oh, you want to know what the inconclusive evidence was? It was the it, it was the pepper bottle. Yes, I'm getting it, do you? The master knew what the nomad was why he went to the pause and place with his lovely daughter. Hold it right there. Incident. Incident. I know all about it. An incident occurred six months ago. Morning ready to show the court. Yes, it does indeed. It's the pepper bottle. Everybody knows it was the pepper bottle. This is not news. There's not a single person in the world who, who is surprised by any of this. Find me as even a single person who got to this point in the game and thought to themselves, Man, I didn't learn any of this in the investigation. Hmm. Or true, or true, or true, or true, or true. Choo choo. Choo choo. Train's coming in. Spicy joke. Did you. That spicy joke. You didn't just. Oh, but you did. You did just say spicy joke. What are you doing? It isn't a joke at all, it's the decisive evidence you asked for. What do you mean? I mean exactly what I said, it is the decisive evidence you asked for, you <laughs> Doing so, this evidence was, yep, exactly. Hey look, didn't I say that already? That the bottle wasn't, well we already knew it was inside, but didn't I say that that was what he meant when he said, hey, come here, look at this box, I, it's gonna... <clears throat> Objection! God. Foolish fool, yeah, yeah, I'm such a fool, woohoo. Who was Virginia Barry's intended victim? It was Bat. But she didn't. Did she intend to? I mean, she might have because of the whole, you know, bet that I couldn't take her on a date or take. Yeah, if, if I stick my head into this line, then. Which, by the way, that's another completely idiotic thing to do. I'm sorry. I don't care how madly in love you are with somebody. You're not sticking your head inside a lion's mouth. No. Just, just, just no. That's just... Mm. Yeah, she couldn't command a lion, but she can spray pep, or she can, like, dump pepper on his, on the lion's nose and cause it to sneeze, which in turn causes the mouth to snap shut, which in turn causes a bite of 80, the bite of 87 to happen again, except it monumentally more stupid. It was way more than that. Lion biting bat was no accident at all. What? It's an amateur. No way would you ever insert a lion attack another human being. Uh, Regina's possible for making the lions. Let me guess. Is a scarf is a def definitive clue. Bat scarf. So, oh, so a small quantity of pepper. Oh, would you look at that? If she put the pepper on the scarf, which would cause him to sneeze. Hmm. How convenient. That's right. And who was the one who gave the scarf? It was Regina. Woohoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pepper, 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 pepper pots. It's the only thing I can think of to say that it would garner even the slightest laugh, but it didn't. I'm guaranteed it's so go stop pecking my eyes at you dumb bird! Doing a good job of finding her criminal out of curiosity. What was her crime? Her crime was she gave pepper cover scratches, but yeah, and it caused the lion to sneeze, you dunce. What's the crime in that? You don't get exactly you just you just don't get it. You just don't get it. Wasn't said the lion seemed to be smiling. 
Yeah. Looks like the mouse changed, looked like he was smiling. Why don't smile? I heard him smiling, however. Mine sneeze. Yep. Now you're finally getting it. Wasn't trying to bite Liam at all. Well, Liam wasn't trying to bite bad at all. In reality, all he actually did was sneeze. Exactly. He sneezed because of all the pepper on his scarf. Exactly. I figured all of this out yesterday. See, that's the thing. There's not been a case. Like, there have been instances where I, where I figured out the end, like, right before Phoenix did, and, and uh, I got that moment of satisfaction. But I've... N I, there's never been a case where I knew everything that happened the day before the trial. This case is just terrible. There was no... Like, there's always been some kind of surprise in the final trial, and it was, like, a really big, emotional, impactful moment. But this is just stupid. This is just... I, I, it's not even so bad I can laugh at it. It's just infuriating. The lion sneezes to the pepper and that's the battle of consciousness. There's nuts about the accent, the jerks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Funny joke. You foolish idiot. Impressed by your imagination. It's not my imagination. I have definitive evidence. Tell me what I said was true. Macro, you don't mean, you can't mean witness, you confirmed that it's claim, Mr. Wright, unfortunately your imagination is not enough to find me guilty of murder. Yeah, what the f- what do you mean? Pepper, a scarf the lion, I see we're going to be hard to swallow. Oh, 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 the lion biting somebody's head off because the sneeze because of pepper on a scarf is, is, is hard to swallow. But you managing to lift a bust up, drop it at a very specific point where you could have been even the slightest bit off, with a rope that's so thin you can use it and yet thick and strong enough to hold the bus, while also managing to have the cloak fly off of Russell Berry and onto the cloak, then for you to lift it up back into the window. I didn't even talk about that. Get it back into the window and then hide it somehow. Bull**t. That's fine, but this is hard to swallow. Come the hell on. Same problem has always been evident, so I dropped Max's bus on top of the ringmaster. Or is the evidence proves that claim? I mean, inclusive evidence. Murder weapon, bust, uh, found out of his room. I think it would be awful, losing my eyes. It would be. So, you want me to know. The bust, Nick, you gotta do something. The bust, don't forget this one. No, there's no there's no reason to do that. We already searched the room, there's nothing there. Might be worth a lot of search his room, but. I think there's not any other true meaning of uncomfortable justice, I guess. I figured with you that's less like you leave no stone unturned. None of these anything to chance. We already searched Jacker's room yesterday. What'd you find? No reason to even say it. If we found what you think we found in that room, Echo would not be here as a witness. Put a point on it, Max Bus not in the room and where goes to my cabin for. Where would you have put it? Like actually where would you have put it? You can't leave your room. Where would you have been able to is it in his chair is the game that stupid have we gone so have we sunk in so low there's no way no no I, I refuse to believe it you you've already you've already used up one of your two strikes with idiocy this this time you, you don't you don't don't you've already you, you've already used up two of your three moronic strikes this today game. Don't don't go don't push for three. Don't go for a strikeout. Don't do it. Please don't do it. End of story. Just wait a second. Something's funny about us. It's finally lack the you lack the final input in my coffin. But what about the scarf? What about the note? What about the no fancy only evidence relevant here? Is that which pertains to that? But the ringmaster you should know that by now. Uh, just something, well, let's get, where is it now? Where is the bust right now? It, it's... Why do I have a sneaky suspicion that it, it's actually in his chair? Why do I have a very sneaky suspicion that it is actually in the, in his chair? Because that's the one place he'd be able to hide it that no one would be able to check. That's also really dumb, because how in the world would he have been able to lift it up, to, to get it into the wind, get it on the wind, just, 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 there's so much wrong. There's so much wrong. There's so much wrong with all of this and your support. Uh, terribly sorry, Mr. Wright. I think that brings an end to the, okay, whatever. Oh, 
here we go. Where's Max's bus? Defense needs time to prepare its... Whatever. Okay, great. Let me guess, it's in his chair. Guarantee you it's in his chair. Guarantee you. Guarantee you it's in his chair. Time for us to walk from... Okay. If it's in his fucking chair, I swear to God. I think swim. The murderer weapon, where's Max's bus now? Oh my god, it's an option! It's an option! No, we're really going this route! We're really going this route! You've already lost all common sense, game. What are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? Oh, his bus is inside the courtroom. Allow me to one look at the bus once for all. Oh my god, it's there! It's there! It's there! We're actually doing this! Oh my god! Here we go! Sorry to ask, but do you mind if I take the blanket off your wheelchair? <sighs> Nick, I hear you. Yes, you do. Don't lie to me. Just wanted to make sure you weren't hiding anything under the blanket because it seems to me that it'd be really easy to say, hide a bust under there. Ha 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 ha, funny joke. Once again, your pension for a team hits me where it hurts, Mr. Wright. I think it's pretty amazing you can laugh in your position. However, your lightheartedness doesn't change the fact that the bus is under there. We all know that you can't leave the lodging house by yourself and your condition improved and convenient when Mr. Hunter happened to search your room yesterday. If you had found the murder weapon in your room, it would have been all over, which is in why you had to hide it and the only place you could hide it, under your wheelchair. Which doesn't make any sense. Master Flip Plate. Yay, we did it. Okay, credit where it's due. That was one... I remember I said there was one final surprise that we didn't figure out beforehand in most cases and that wasn't here this time? Credit where it's due, there was a big final surprise that it was hidden- that the murder woman was hidden in his chair. Except for, uh, one small little problem there. HOW IN THE WORLD WOULD HE HAVE DONE THAT?! Yeah, I may have been bagged by a real pro. Two of them. Two of them? Mr. Mr. Francisco Mon Carmen Mr. Phoenix right. It's just one thing I'd like to know. How did you know to launch the surprise search in my room last night? There were two pieces of decisive evidence, the cloak and the bust, and also the rope that nobody's talking about. I burned the cloak in my room and threw the ashes away with the trash. Regina almost took my trash out every morning, you know, but the bust obviously couldn't throw that away. I guess to your search all I did all I could do was try to hide the bust. And the only place that I could hide it quickly was under this wheelchair. You had things all figured out, didn't you? I was completely sucked in by your calculated strategy. And now to be caught in the middle of court hiding the murder weapon, there's no way I can escape that. So you got me. Well done, Mr. Wright. Well done, Ms. Von Karma. It all makes sense now. I can't believe Ms. Karma thought that there's n sh n no fucking bullshit. He made a mistake. Why did I say what a surprise with you when I hadn't done that? Seems we finally arrived at the truth. Acro, did you kill the ringmaster? Yes, I'm responsible for that crime. Oh my god. And the game, let me guess, now the game's gonna be like, Oh, woe is me, I didn't mean to kill him. Wah ha ha, he was my only mama, He's, he was my only papa. Wah, 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 woe is me. Well, my brother was Regina liking the play teaser. Brother sprinkled some pepper on Regina. So it's using the heart, you couldn't help yourself from laughing. Oh, you f***ing... And she didn't think to stop him from putting his mouth- putting his head in the lion's mouth. Are you kidding me? No, no one's not stupid! Oh my god. This case is awful. This is terrible. This is, in the words of Francisca von Karma, dreadful. And yep, I was right, they're doing the whole woe is me thing- Oh, boo-hoo, you're crying. Oh, boo-hoo. Wah, wah, wah. Cry me a river. Cry me a river so I can row, row, row my boat down it. I just couldn't up and leave yet. Some sort of strange case. Strange is not the word I would use to describe it. Reflection of the circus itself. Oh, God. I, I agreed. Can't believe it, you beat me again. I can, trust me. I believe this case is now beyond any point of possible discussion. I'd like to claim my verdict. 
Not guilty. I That doesn't feel earned in the slightest. We already figured all this out yesterday. And what we didn't figure out was such bull From start to finish. Court is adjourned. Oh my god. That's finally over. The, the trial's finally over. Now we just gotta get through this little epilogue section. Fabulous. I can't really be too happy. Ringmaster Regina. Single one of those is my person inside, huh? Yeah, well, trust me. I never would have thought to look at him. Um... Stupid little clown. Thank you. Five in the room. To sing to an acro. If you worry about people too much, you'll be like this forever and never be happy. Oh. oh. You can join Acro in the Crimea River Club. Yeah, it is all your fault. Sweetie, but that acro is never coming back. You're correct. Everyone's gonna split up. You're absolutely right. Regina, Mr. Wright, tell me something. What do you want to know? Everything's gonna write at the end. What did he say? Couldn't love and leave yet. Does that mean Acro is he gonna try to get his revenge on me? No, because he's going to prison. Or, or he's getting the death penalty. Either way, he's not getting his revenge on you. And also, you wanna see evidence? Oh, what? What? His brother wouldn't want that? Is that what you want to know? Acker didn't want to get caught for a reason. He wanted to see his brother open his eyes again. And the He's still alive. I never knew, but that Acker's been caught. I know what. I'll do it. I'll stay next to bed as long as it takes. Until he opens his eyes and then until he can meet Acker again. I'm really sorry, Acker. I'm sorry, Bad. Hopefully this doesn't have to give her peace of mind. Hey, Max. What is it, Mo? We really put you through a lot, didn't we, buddy? I'm sorry, but don't be sorry. He's a piece of shit. So whenever you like to leave us, I'll pay your fee and run for the contract. Fabulous thing. Great. I don't. I don't care. I don't care what happens to the circus. You could all get. You could all get laid off for all I care. I don't care about any of you. Not a single one of you. I made a decision. Oh, what decision would that be? I will take over as a new ringmaster. You. Oh, you're screwed. You are utterly screwed. The best circus world's ever seen. Don't laugh. I really want to. I must admit. Can't wait. Oh, trust me, I can wait a very long time. The only thing, uh, no best solution, circus is the best position in the world. Oh, shut up. Hey, Dark Circus, too, fast. Let's say a big guy. I don't know what's so in his thank you. Uh, Regina, you're gonna help him out too, aren't you? Circus would be better off without me. We're talking about, I think, right, the course today, we gotta work together. Don't care. Yay, the circus gets to stay together. Woohoo, I'm so excited. Uh, Max. Nick, seems like everything's gonna be turning alright. I want to go see the best service worlds I've seen. I can wait a very long time. I'll be, I'll be great. Thanks. Save you from the most fabulous seats. Take us a while to get. The thing is, look, I'm sorry. I know I'm so monotone right now, and I, I just have stopped caring completely about what's going on. But I don't, I don't think you understand. This case has killed my mood so much. There is not a single thing in the world that you could show me right now that would make me feel even the slightest. Like you could play me the entire Aladdin movie, not the new one, the old, the classic one. You could. Play me Back to the Future, Raiders Lost Ark, you could show me, there's so many things that you would think you would be able to do to cheer me up, there's nothing, there's nothing you could possibly do, you could nothing you could show me, I'm not, I'm not even paying attention to the dialogue here, it's probably important story details, I don't care, be I'll, I'll, I'll read it in editing later, but there's nothing in this world you can show me that would even kind of remotely convince me, like, I just, I, this case is so awful, that I just, I, I honestly just want to take a break from playing this game because this game is so the case was so horrendous that there's nothing you could f***ing show me to make me convince. I take it back. There is something you could show me. Oh, he's alive! Oh, he's alive! Oh my God, he's alive! Oh my god, I take it all back. Not, okay, not everything I said. But the thing about that's nothing you can show me. Oh, and... That's actually so smart, because the, the last case in this case, they're looking at each other. Okay. Okay. Alright. You've got my attention. Alright, I'm ready to keep playing. Not right now, because I, I need to recover from that case, but... Okay, you, you've you got my attention, and you're still alive. Oh my god, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be so good. Okay, but that case, look, 
I'm happy to see Edge was alive, and I'm, I'm going to go rewatch that now to see, see, I mean, to see what I missed. That case was horrendous. For one, all the characters were awful, annoying as all hell. Max was a terrible human being. Like, all the defendants are people you wanted to defend them until this point. Max is just a piece of shit. From the top to bottom, start to finish, awful human being. Uh, Mo was annoying at first. He kind of got better towards the end. Regina... Regina seemed fine until you figured out that she, what she did, which, by the way, so she was sneezing, and she wanted to make Bat sneeze too, so she po- spilled pepper on his scarf. What the hell? That's just so stupid. And also, she didn't think that when he stuck his head inside the lion's mouth that that would set him off. She didn't think about that. And also... I don't care how I love you over somebody. Human instincts will not allow you to stick your head inside the lion's mouth. Nobody is that senseless. And I already talked about the rope. No rope exists on this planet that is that thin and yet also strong enough to hold the stupid bust. The fact that the cloak just managed to accidentally land on the stupid bust is so dumb. Just Oh, and the ventriloquist dummy duo i forgot about them they were also annoying everybody in this case just sucked so much they were all awful every single one of them and the the fact that he hit his bust under the chair like are you kidding me the fact that like i already talked about how he how in the world would he have had the upper body strength to do any of this to get it to, to get it onto the to, to get it over to the window to get it onto the rope to lower the rope down to pull the rope back up to get the rope into the building sorry to get the the bus into the building with the rope or in the, with the cloak in addition to it, to burn the cloak with what did he burn the cloak? How did he get the... So maybe he just tipped the bust over and it fell onto the ground. How did he then manage to lean over and pick it up and push it inside of his wheelchair, which was on wheels? None of it makes any sense. It's all completely broken. I just... <sighs> okay. I just need to calm down. Because, you know what? Edgeworth is alive. I was bamboozled. We were all bamboozled. Edgeworth is actually alive. I know that case was awful, but you know what? I'm going to go into case four with an open mind. Ed, the fact that Edward is still here, that's a, that's a, for a great start to the next case. So I'm going to go into it with a completely open mind and just hope for the best. So that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next time. I hope to catch you all on Tuesday for some more. Phoenix Radius Attorney Justice for All. Goodbye.